you want to update your Uconnect system, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Do you have a Dodge, any Uconnect system, Dodge, Ram, Charger, Challenger, Jeep, any Uconnect system, how to get the latest, latest update. If you get an older vehicle where you connect, you can update it. I'm going to show you how. What you want to do is you want to click this website. I don't know if my camera focusing, but it is drive you connect.com software update it's going to pop up you click the, the link once you click the link it's going to send you to this website you press ok then you have to enter your VIN number once you enter your VIN number you're going to hit check for update now I'm going to show you guys after that once you check for the update it's going to be an update available you're going to download it once you download it it's going to be five files. You're going to take those five files, plug your flash drive in, which is right there. You're going to plug your flash drive in into your computer. You're going to drag them five files to your flash drive and let it download it. And after you do that, I'm going to show you what happens after that. So now that you've transferred all the files to this, what you're going to do is you're going to get inside your car. You're going to turn it on. Then you're going <clears> to <throat> going to go to settings on here. You're going to go to your settings. And you want to see the update. So system information. You're going to click system information. You see my update that I have. My update I have 18-11-07. I'm going to show you the update that you want. So you're going to plug this flash drive. If you have a truck, you're going to plug it in. You're going to plug that in. See, now I plug mine in. Give it a second. Okay, so once you plug... Your flash drive in it's gonna ask you this update image is to validate and ready for installation do you want to update your APSU from 11 so you're gonna click yes system being reset properly could reset up to 35 seconds while saving data so it's gonna pop up it might not pop up right away but it's gonna pop up maybe like 20 to 30 seconds because I know mine did 20 to 30 seconds later. It popped up. So what you're going to do is you're going to wait. Now it's being reset it now. So after it's being reset it now, it's waiting. All you have to do is wait. Wait. It's going to take up to two to five minutes, as it says. And make sure you turn the car on to run. You do not turn it on. Turn it on to run. Everything is on. Okay, now it is updating. Okay, it showed 100% that it was done. Okay. <clears throat> now you're gonna hit accept. Okay, showing that it's 12 o'clock. It's not 12 o'clock now, so you're gonna let, you're gonna let, um, you're gonna let everything load. Let it load up. I still left the flash drive in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I left my flash drive in there and I keep the car as it, as it is, okay? Okay. Okay, let's let it load. That actually switched to off. What I did was I turned it back on. Okay, please wait up to two minutes while the update is validated. The background will continue. You will be notified when validation is complete. Okay, you press OK. It is 416 where I'm at. Okay, it is 416 where I'm at. Hey, okay, now. Okay, now we're getting everything. Everything is up. Okay. I say, please wait two minutes. I didn't. Um, also, another key.
fact, like when it was loading up and everything, this hit off. I just turned it back on to run and everything. So let's just see how it look in everything. Let's see. Okay, you got the phone, climate, go to settings. I'm gonna go all the way to down the system. And you see the update is on here. It say 18.501 now. The update is here now. Okay, so that did that well. Okay, your software is updated successfully. You can remove your device, USB card. Do you want to reinstall? You're gonna press no. And then you're gonna take your USB out. And there go your update.